how is everybody this fine Friday evening? Look at us. We are back at our regular Sunset Musings. How refreshing, right? All these airports. Oh my goodness gracious. I hope you got to see. So, so many people emailed me that they got to see my ABC news story about the eclipse. And I didn't get to see it. So if any one of you has recorded or remember what, I don't know if they shared the whole whole thing or only part of it. So let me know what they talked about. I would love to, I mean, what, what actually I talked about. Because um, there were a few things that I shared miss, with Mr. Marciano. I didn't realize that, you know, I, the same, when I was flying back home the same day, I saw a uh, newsstand at the airport with his name and his photo and all his famous stuff. And I'm like, ooh, I know this guy. Ooh, I just talked to him on TV. How cool is that, huh? What a small world. Mm. Anyway, so here we are back with our sunset. How graceful. I really want to do today at the end of it. Hopefully, hopefully you can join me. And if you're in a place that you can sit down and and maybe close your eyes or just watch the sunset with me, I want to do a little bit of a meditation. I'll probably switch my um, earphones. But I promised you guys this morning a little breathwork meditation, and then we're 20 minutes into it. So I'm gonna do it tonight. I also have a star of the week for you. It's a little surprise, a little su surprise. Ta-da! I really would love for us to do a star of the week, just to share with you something that um, is of an importance that is so easy to do and inexpensive and will make a big difference for, you know, all of us and our families and friends. So that's something easy that's coming up. Ta-da! The piece I wanna share with you, we had our first call today for our 33 day immersion um, circle. And I chose the 33, I told you, because Nikola Tesla, and I'll share more about that with you. It's, an, uh, it's a frequency that aligns, that helps us align with our deeper truth to begin with. So what do we wanna do? Why, why would we wanna be in a 33 day immersion cycle, circle, right? Like you're thinking, why would I want to do that? You know, I have so much going on already. I have to take care of the grandkids. I have to, um, you know, I have two jobs going on. I have to do that. And oh my goodness, like I have no time to do a margin circle. Like, what are you talking about? It's a great question to ask. And the answer would be at the end of the 33 days, there is something, whether small or big, that by, by, realizing that every single day we actually shift our whole space and time continuum meaning if if there is you know 10 minutes i can take in the morning and do a focused breath work with a starting point of gratitude and it's something because there's people asking me to do that i can do for 30 days and then in the evening, I can take five, 10, 15 minutes and do a little meditation or do a little journaling when I'll go, thank you for this, thank you for that. You know, I've actually accomplished pretty, I've just been actually pretty good. You know, whatever you name it, there's just a couple things that we add. What that is going to do, because the focus goes internally, the amount of energy we have is higher, the amount of focus we have is higher, and prioritization is higher, which means, you know, all day full. Do you ever notice, like, we're going back and forth, back and forth, all this and that, and then finally we get it done, but it's just like, cumbersome back and forwards unfocused I mean I I mean today was that kind of day for me it's like oh my gosh it's there's so much going on and that diminishes and with that actually our execution increases and our focus on what what we really want to bring into fruition is just like it's like sharp focused and it's done it's the action is it's a it's a straight line instead of going back and forth back and forth and with that said, there is no wrong with having a day where things go a little bit off. And I'll encourage all of us, like today, you know, if I really, instead of trying to do all this back and forth, if literally I removed myself from the chaos of the energy, which I'll share with you, I kind of expected and I'll tell you why. I, if I removed myself and just 
turned everything off, put my earplugs, like, you know, I put earplugs in so it's nice and quiet, and literally focused within in whatever way I have. You know, for me, it's the sun, but that doesn't come until the end of the day, right? So something, to find something in the middle of the day, if we can do that, um, like being centered, you know, we talked about this morning about how do I, what do I do to be centered? And oftentimes, the less centered, the more we're trying to do on the outside, like I was doing today, right? The more we're doing on the outside, instead of bringing the focus in and grounding ourselves, planting our feet. Actually, let's do that. Um, can you guys hear me okay like this, or should I change my mic? Susie, should I change my mic? Or is this okay? Good enough. I'm going to stand up with you guys, so maybe I should change my mic. Okay, let me, let me park this for you. Because the sun is setting right now. This is an opportune moment for us to do this. You know, our world right now is so chaotic. There is so much going on. We're asked to, you know, to, oh my gosh, so many things we have to focus on. Now everything is online. Sounds good to you, Susie? So I'm going to ask you to stand up. Um, oh, wait. So the sun is going to set. You can watch it or you can just know it's setting right now. I'm going to be kind of standing up next to you, watching the sun with you. Actually, let me move. I'll change my mic for a second. Hang in there. Just in the meantime, just see if if you're in a like a, a little crouched position. I will ask you to hang on. Okay, this should be a little bit better. So. Let's put our chin up and shoulders back, our chest forward. We can even put one hand on the heart. If you can stand up, please do and plant your feet firmly on the ground. Just move from the left to the right, left to the right, kind of find your balance in the center as if there is a cord going down through the spine all the way down through our pelvis and it's being grounded in the center of the earth literally like the strongest wind cannot blow us off and just feel that strength palms open to the front you can even potentially feel this powerful energy coming off of the palms and if your eyes are closed this is great if they're open the, the power of the sun comes through every cell in the body. Whether we are inside, outside, we are getting this profound energy of the cosmos at all times. We're getting oxygen at all times. And somewhere in the middle of this, we can actually choose to upregulate how we're using it. So right now, as we're grateful for the sun and for the day, just by the mere fact of gratitude and just by the fact that we are noticing every single cell in our body we are upregulating the capacity of our body to utilize oxygen to utilize nutrients to move out the unwanted whether it's bacteria pathogens thank you son and thank you body for first of all knowing how to do this at any given point in our lives like thank you this is so profound and we often just don't even think about it because we don't have to the fact that the sun is just here for us in this in this profound way that we don't get you know to burn and we don't freeze it just comes every day up and down it's fueling us with the photons it's it's again it's it's so much to be grateful for so let's just say thank you thank you to the sun of course thank you to planet earth for having us being guest in her beautiful home and thank you to this profound body honestly no matter what is going on right now no matter if there's pain somewhere no matter if we struggling with something um and especially if we're doing great and have a good day it's thank you body and trillions of cells for knowing exactly what to do even if i'm not always supporting you like my goodness today um 
for me, I wasn't the best of support. And I'm really sorry for that. And my promise is that this evening, I'll take the time and do something special for me, whatever it is. Drink extra glass of water, have extra green drink, uh, go to sleep extra early, or just sit down for 10 minutes in silence and just revel in the, in the profoundness of you, this amazing body. And I'll do my absolute best to commit to the same thing tomorrow and realize that there is so much I can do to feel better. There's so much that I actually have power to do when I'm aligned with with this this powerful self of who I am, that there is so much I can do to choose, to not have to just, you know, succumb to the circumstances and and complain about the heat or complain about somebody is making another regulation and rules they're affecting me and I cannot go out and do my yoga or I cannot go out and uh, all this like oh my gosh okay so I cannot change that but let me look at what I can actually change because it's so much and so what I'm going to do starting tonight I'm going to actually make a list and one and maybe I'll make two lists one is going to be an easy one Okay, like what is it that I can do that's very easy every day for the next few days or the next 30 days or next 33 days like we're doing. Like, and uh, next to it, next to it, we want to have, oh, why would I want to do that? You know, why would I want to drink more water? Why would I want to go to sleep a little bit more? Like, why would I want to try that? You know, I have so much going on. Why would I want to do that? The end point is... Giving yourself the chance to actually see how profound a change can be and how easy it can be and how long lasting it can be for our body. So if we're really tired, maybe, maybe, maybe for the next seven days, we're going to have half less coffee and an extra half an hour of sleep. Is this doable for seven days? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can I take 10 minutes in the middle of the day and just breathe and sit down and close my eyes and literally energetically push everything out? Almost like create this beautiful, profound golden bubble around me. I'm going to push every noise out and every task I need to do out. And I'm going to stay so centered like there is this profound... Um, a trunk of a tree inside my being and it's just holding me still and I can feel the energy of life flowing from the top of my head down to the bottom of my spine and down to planet earth please let's feel that for a little bit up and down up and down up and down feeling really strong that is our vital force every time we focus on it Every time we fuel it with oxygen and extra deep breath and with extra supportive nutrient dense food, with extra minute of sleep or meditation. I mean, you talk about being centered like right there and then and it can happen right in the moment and sometimes it could take seven days and sometimes it can take 33 days. The reason we are here is to, to tell you that there is a, an amazing opportunity to move to the next level up. Even if it's one level or if it's 10 levels, every little bit is going to make a difference. So one last final breath. <sighs> hmm. Thank you. Thank you, son. Thank you for this. Thank you for doing this with me. And um. I don't know where you at, but in just this little moment, you know, in just this little moment, it's, I mean, I feel grounded. I wish I would have done this like five hours ago, you know, it's like, oh my goodness. And so what we'll have is, we'll have something like that to come back to every single day. Um, and, I, you know, I, I'm here for you with this sunset musings and let me know what you need. And we're going to do a little extra in our 33-day uh, uh, immersion circle. The immersion is 
I'm telling you, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm I'm right there with you. We are doing this together. Like I could have done something like this and I wish I had 10 minutes to watch something like this to pull me out of the chaos and bring me back. So um, we did it right now and it was perfect. And thank you for doing that with me. And before we part, I have something else for you. Yeah, it feels it feels better, doesn't it? Does it feel a little better, Susie? Or a little bit more centered? I think so. Even if it's like 5%, it's huge. In today's world, going inward and focusing on the centering is actually, that's actually the most healing thing we can do. That's, oh, I'm so glad. Thank you for the feedback. That's actually the most healing thing in today's world with so much going on is the ability to learn to turn inward and to find the energy fuel source inside. It's coming out of us and to become aware of it and feed it and fuel it is the most profound thing we can do, truly. Um, that's where the sun is. So again, it's hot. So first thing in the morning, like you were saying, or late in the evening, like now, it, it, it teaches us, you know, it, it's the reminder of the cycle that it's coming from the inside out, like the sun is fueling our inside and then it, it kind of beams up outward. So um, more on that. Actually, join me tomorrow at 11, um, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have our day two. Again, this is our intro to the 33 days. So it'll be fun. We'll do something like this and then some more. In the meantime, though, for those of you who have not done the health reset, who have not done anything else with me or haven't heard me talk about digestive tract and all that, I really want to share with you this one easy thing. And you can get any, okay? Um, I like this guy. You don't know what I'm talking about. Some of you do, Susie probably, you know. It's so simple to take on a daily basis. Okay, I'll, I'll do, we'll, we'll do a little test. It's so simple to take on a daily basis. It's kind of dark in color. It has absorbent qualities, which means it, it's not like absorb, it absorbs those unwanted um, toxins and electromagnetic thing. You know, what happens is our, uh, most of the things that we are um, needing have different um, electromagnetic potential than those that are harmful to us, whether it's pathogens or toxins. So there's a different amount of electrons versus protons. There's different charge, which is huge, um, whether it's magnesium, you know, or chloride, right? Different charge. And this amazing superstar of the week actually knows which guy to absorb and move out. It does it so harmlessly, meaning it doesn't hurt any of our cells, quite the opposite. The more we take, the more we clean. And as it moves through us and it goes into the water system, it actually helps to clean the water further and helps to clean the earth further when it's dumped on the earth. So it's very simple. We want to take at least 2000 milligrams a day, minimum preferably 5,000 milligrams a day. Do we know what it is? Do we know what star of the day? Yes, you got it, Kathleen. It is charcoal. Would you believe it? Oh my gosh, it's becoming like my best friend. We can take any charcoal. I like the one from the um, activate uh, 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 from the organic coconut shell because it's nice and clean. But you got it. That was awesome. Uh, this one is a good one. It's constantly on back order. It's the AC activated charcoal 1350. So when you can grab it, get it. It's the pharmaceutical grade. If not, get anything else that's organic, clean uh, from uh, 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 organic coconut, preferably. Okay, or a company that you know you can trust that it's clean company. Um, this guy has three capsules is about 1,000 milligrams so we want to take minimum of six capsules if we can go for nine or more let's do that the other way it comes in which is a little bit harder to work with but goes to show you the potency is actually in a powder form it's amazing it's like it's black like the universe you know did you know that the profound profound healing things in our world are actually black it's the 
it's the opposite in the sky you know the the stars are the lights right and it's all black at the night anyway in outer world there's not much black that we can eat it's mostly like dark seeds you know it's the dark chia seeds it's the dark um maca it's the um those little, like I eat the cactus, you know me, you know, so all those seeds in the cactus are actually dark, they're black. Um, what's the other one? Oh, dark flax seed, it's the black flax seed. Everything that's black has this profound um, quality on our health. Um, there's somebody, some tribe, they're actually eating these black ants um, because they have so much healing power in them. So activated charcoal is right there with that. And so what we can do with the powder, it doesn't work so well to mix it in water because it doesn't really you know dissolve so it's a little tricky but when we're doing smoothie or when we're doing a liquid diet for example and there is a hunger period where we want to have something all we do is we take a little fiber um, actually I put water in first in my Nutribullet banana to make it taste good and then I put a form of fiber you know flaxseed or I have this other purulene fiber and then I stick a little bit of the charcoal of course it's black but it tastes really really good and I can get 5,000 uh, grams right there with one oh sorry milligrams 5,000 milligrams with one scoop honestly 5,000 grams wouldn't harm us at all um, and and the part we don't have to worry if we take the charcoal with uh, just by itself with other things it doesn't bind them so we don't have to worry about other supplements and medication it's only if we put other fibers in with that that we want to take it separately but how about that for the start of the evening Kathleen I want to talk to you so um, send me a note because I missed you today and uh, I want to make sure that we can get uh, and see you tomorrow for our if you can anyway um, for our because um, I know you've been asking how to connect so I'll be in touch with you and everybody else tomorrow is Sunday so we are uh, pausing on the musings however we're going to do 11 as well on Sunday so please join us 11 tomorrow and 11 Sunday um, for our intro and continuation I'm gonna bring you something special there I'm, I'm working on it already so the start of the week is charcoal and it's going to stay the start of the week we'll talk some more about that we'll talk some more about number three and how we can all use it for our power and then tomorrow I can I have actually something because today is already late but I have something I really want to help us bring the you know as I said like tomorrow is Saturday my apology my apology I'm living thank you for that Susie yes so tomorrow we still have sunset musings don't mind me so today Friday tomorrow Saturday and the day after Sunday 11 a.m. we're doing 33 day immersion cycle intro please join us and then I'm in for oh my gosh look at me it's because I traveled it's because I didn't sleep I was on the plane overnight then I was on the plane for the eclipse and I traveled home the same day and I my computer is all messed up so thank you for that but anyway so I'll see you tomorrow at 11 and for those of you who come for the sunset, I'll see you tomorrow at night. And, and, and I would really love um, for you to share with me. And thank you, Susie, for doing that. Like, what are the things that I know if I could change um, would actually make a difference? Like, do I, can I let myself, you know, kind of ponder for five minutes what those things would be? So share those with us, please. And I'll do some feedback for you. Have a beautiful evening and I'll definitely see you tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday. So I'll see you for Sunset Music. Thank you. See you. Bye.